Welcome back to my cooking channel and today we're gonna to be making stuffed artichokes. Oh my God, guys, I used to remember seeing my mom make these all the time. And I just used to just watch her making them. So um, I can't wait for you guys to try these in your kitchen. So we're gonna have fun making them. And I wore green to match my artichokes. So this is gonna be fun, guys. Oh my God, I'm not eating them. Oh my god, stop! Oh my god. Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> All right, go up, up, up. <laughs> so we're gonna start with um, we have our artichokes here. And uh, make sure you use a, um, a sharp knife. I'm using my cut code knives, and you cut the end of the stem off, and then you cut the front of the artichokes just like this, just like that. And then I just throw it in the sink like that. And then any leaves that don't look great, just peel them off just like this. And then I remember my mom would open up the artichoke just like this. And then just open them up like this, like you're opening up a rose what it looks like. Just like that. Because you want to stuff the artichokes. So this is why you're doing this. So we're going to make the stuffing next. So after I open these up, just like that. Oh, it looks so pretty. These used to be my favorite to eat. And of course, when my mom made them, I used to love them because everything that your mom makes always tastes more delicious. I always felt, felt like that. I always felt like my mom's cooking was always better than mine. And I'm sure my daughters are gonna feel the same way. A bunch of you on my YouTube channel have asked me to make this. So Stephanie, Mariah, Teresa, Francine, and Jojo. So this is for you guys. Okay, so so thank you for asking me. This brings back a lot of memories. I mean, this recipe is a little bit more advanced, but tell you the truth, not really. Like, it's really easy, guys. Just follow along. It's a lot of fun. And um, yeah, it's like, I, you know, I can't wait to make this for you guys. So see, I opened it up just like that. Like, you, you know, open up like a flower, like a rose. So this one's done. So let's do the next one. I'm gonna put this right there. So cut off the stem again. Cut the, the beginning of it, just like that. And then again, open it up. See, and sometimes they open up a little quicker than others. This one opened up a little quicker. See, just like that. Next one, cut the end off in the front. And then open it up. Nails do help with this. <laughs> And this is also such a pretty dish to have on the table when you're having a dinner party or you're having guests over. It looks really good. It definitely makes a statement. And it, and it looks very impressive. And you're like, oh my God, she needs stuffed artichokes. This is a little longer recipe to make. Like the cooking time is like an hour. But that's okay, you need time for, you know, for the artichokes to cook and that's how long it takes. So just allow that much time. Okay, so now the artichokes are all opened up and, re and they, they look really like they're blossoming. So now we're gonna make the stuffing. So now we're gonna start with the eggs right here. Then we're gonna beat the eggs just like that. 
Uh, okay, I'm gonna beat the eggs. And then we're gonna add the breadcrumbs. I'm adding two cups of breadcrumbs, just like that. So now we're gonna do, um, let me do the salt, just like that. The pepper. The oregano, like this. Chop up some garlic, just like this. Add that in there. I'm gonna mix it with my hands because it'll mix really good that way. And then you have your grated cheese right here. Add that all in. And now I'm gonna just mix it together. You know what, I'm gonna get a bigger bowl. Okay, this is better. I'm adding another egg because you want it consistent to be like a stuffing, a little softer. I'm gonna add sausage right here. Okay, let me try this. So I'm cutting up the sausage into little four squares. Okay, let's mix that in there just like that. Okay. You could use any sausage you like. You could use sweet sausage, hot sausage. Okay, just like that. Okay, the stuffing is done. All right, you could use a spoon to stuff it if you want. Otherwise, you could just use your hands. I like using my hands because I want to pack it good inside, just like that. So you really, you push it inside the artichoke, just like that. Yeah, look, see, it looks good. So you get it in there as much as you could, the stuffing. Now we're gonna stuff the next one. This is kind of fun stuff in them. <laughs> These are so easy to make. They might look intimidating or like so hard to make, but they're so easy to make. These are a fun thing to eat. Um, I remember we, yeah, this takes longer to eat at the dinner table, but it's fun. You eat the stuffing, you eat the leaves, you could eat the hearts. And again, with the quickie sauce, they cook with the quickie sauce in, in the Dutch oven and you leave them cooking on the stove for like an hour. And they're worth the wait to eat. You know, I'm gonna cook these in a Dutch oven. But to tell you the truth, when I first started cooking, I didn't know what a Dutch oven was until you start cooking and then you know. But otherwise you just use a deep enough, you know, saucepan and you cook them in that. But if not, you go to your local, like Target or Walmart and buy a Dutch oven. Okay, so this is it. So I just stuffed the last one. So now we're gonna just fry the tops. Add some olive oil right here like that. Put this a little lower. And we're gonna fry the tops of the artichokes just like that. Just for like two minutes. Okay, so now I'm gonna prep the Dutch oven. I'm gonna put it here, just like that. And so we're gonna put on the bottom the quickie sauce, just like this. You could either add water to the quickie sauce. I'm adding chicken broth right here to the bottom of the pan. And then I'm gonna check the artichokes just like this. Okay, these are ready. So just like this. And then we're gonna cover it. And we're gonna cook it on low. So the sauce and the chicken broth could simmer for in about an hour and we will show you the finished product.
So that's it, guys. So that wasn't hard at all, right? It was easy. So after they, they're finished cooking, you're gonna plate them and then pour the sauce on top and add a little parsley to make it look um, a little pretty. And it's gonna look so beautiful. And that, the best part, it's gonna taste delicious. Thank you so much for watching. Make sure you like and subscribe my channel. And I just wanted to say saluti tanti baji. Mwah.